Have you ever wondered how piracy began? Buckle up, mate, as we set sail into the murky waters of history. Our voyage takes us back to the ancient world, around 1200 BCE, where the first murmurs of piracy echo. These early marauders, known as the Sea Peoples, were a formidable force. They terrorized coastal communities along the Mediterranean Sea, launching raids and plundering settlements with a boldness that left their victims trembling in fear. These Sea Peoples were no ordinary seafarers. With their swift boats and battle-hardened warriors, they brought chaos and destruction wherever they sailed. Their motives, however, remain a mystery as deep as the sea itself. Were they driven by desperation, greed, or perhaps the sheer thrill of the raid? We may never know. But what we do know is that their exploits marked the beginning of a long and tumultuous history of piracy. Their legacy, however, extends far beyond their reign of terror. The Sea Peoples have sailed into the annals of history as the first known pirates. Their daring exploits set a precedent, inspiring future generations of seafaring raiders. Their tactics, strategies, and audacious disregard for the laws of the land laid the groundwork for piracy as we know it today. Yet, the Sea Peoples were just the beginning. As we'll see, piracy truly took off with the rise of the great empires of antiquity. In the chaotic aftermath of war and conquest, pirates found fertile ground to ply their nefarious trade. From the Greeks and Romans to the Phoenicians, piracy became a prevailing menace on the high seas. As we delve deeper into the history of piracy, we'll meet infamous pirates, legendary figures who've become synonymous with high seas adventure. We'll encounter ruthless raiders, cunning strategists, and even a pirate queen who defied the might of empires. And thus, the first chapter of piracy was written in the annals of history. But hold fast, mates, for our journey is just beginning. The golden age of piracy, the Viking's reign, the decline of piracy, and its enduring legacy still lie ahead. So keep your sea legs ready as we continue our voyage through the thrilling and tumultuous history of piracy. With the rise of ancient empires, the stage was set for the golden age of piracy. As the Greeks, Romans, and Phoenicians carved out their territories, the seas became a bustling highway of merchant vessels, ripe for the picking. Pirates, the opportunists of the high seas, didn't miss a beat. They took full advantage of the chaos of war and conquest, preying on these vulnerable ships, pilfering their precious cargo, and enslaving their ill-fated crews. Now, imagine a pirate not with a scruffy beard and a black eye patch but a formidable woman ruling an entire fleet. Meet Queen Tutor of Illyria, the legendary pirate queen herself. This fierce ruler of the third century BCE didn't just command the respect of her followers. She struck fear into the hearts of sailors across the Adriatic Sea. Her reign was a clear message. The high seas were no longer the exclusive domain of empires and their navies. Queen Tutor's fleet of raiders were no ordinary marauders. They were ruthless, cunning, and relentless. They terrorized the coastlines of Greece and Rome, defying the might of empires and challenging the status quo. Can you imagine the audacity? Here was a woman, a queen, leading her fleet into battle and plundering with impunity. The pirate queen's audacious exploits set the tone for piracy in this era. She demonstrated that piracy was not just a means of survival, but a form of rebellion, a way to challenge the powerful, and a path to infamy and legend. Her defiance sent ripples across the Mediterranean, shaking the thrones of empires and inspiring a generation of pirates. Queen Tuta, the Pirate Queen, set the standard for piracy in the ancient world. Her audacity and defiance, her cunning and ruthlessness, all became hallmarks of the pirate ethos. She was not just a pirate, she was a symbol of rebellion, a beacon for those who dared to challenge the mighty, and a legend that would echo through the ages. The age of piracy had truly begun, and it was as wild and unpredictable as the seas themselves. As the ancient world faded, a new breed of pirates emerged from the north, the Vikings. These figures, draped in the mystery of the north, were not just pirates, but pioneers of the sea. Their reign was a thrilling saga of exploration, conquest, and of course piracy, that lasted from the late 8th to early 11th century. The Vikings, originating from the Scandinavian lands, were unmatched in their seafaring prowess. Their longboats, feats of maritime engineering, were designed for both the wild waves of the sea 
and the tranquil meanderings of rivers. This gave the Vikings unparalleled mobility, enabling them to strike their targets swiftly and then vanish just as quickly into the misty northern seas. Their raids were legendary, a fusion of audacity and strategy that sent shivers down the spines of coastal communities. From their initial raids on the monasteries of the British Isles, their reach quickly expanded. Soon, the echo of their battle cries could be heard from the icy landscapes of Iceland to the sun-drenched coasts of the Mediterranean, even as far as the distant shores of North America. Despite their reputation as ruthless raiders, the Vikings were also traders and explorers. Their journeys took them across known and unknown waters, establishing trade routes that crisscrossed the continents. They traversed the harsh icy waters of the North Atlantic, reached the gates of the Arab kingdoms through the rivers of Eastern Europe, and even dared to explore the uncharted waters of the North American continent. Such was the scale of their maritime adventures. But what truly set the Vikings apart was their culture. They were a society of warriors, bound by a complex code of honor and loyalty. The Viking sagas, rich in tales of heroic adventures and epic battles, were testament to their indomitable spirit. These stories, passed down through generations, continue to captivate us, painting a vivid picture of the Viking world. The Vikings, masters of the seas, left a lasting legacy in the annals of piracy. Their audacious raids, their seafaring skills, and their indomitable spirit continue to inspire, reminding us of a time when the world was a vast uncharted mystery, and the sea, a gateway to endless possibilities. Fast forward to the age of exploration, when piracy truly hit its stride. In a world where the boundaries of the known were constantly shifting, the high seas teemed with opportunity, and for those willing to seize it, the rewards were immense. Enter the notorious pirates of the Golden Age. These were no ordinary sea robbers. They were charismatic figures who commanded fleets of ships and crews of hardened sailors. Names like Blackbeard, Captain Kidd, Anne Bonny, and Calico Jack became the stuff of legend, each with a story as colorful as the Jolly Roger flying high on their mast. Blackbeard, real name Edward Teach, was a fearsome figure with a beard that, according to accounts, covered his whole face and frightened America more than any comet that had ever appeared. Captain Kidd, originally commissioned as a privateer, turned rogue and was later hanged for his piracy. Anne Bonny and Calico Jack, meanwhile, were partners in crime and life, breaking all the societal norms of the day. Bonny, known for her fiery temper, was one of the few women pirates, fighting alongside the men and earning their respect. In the Caribbean, these pirates established their own republics, where the traditional rules of society were turned on their heads. They elected their own leaders, shared their loot equally, and lived by a pirate code. It was a life of freedom and, at times, brutal violence. These pirates weren't just opportunists. They were rebels, rejecting the authority of the empires that sought to control the seas. They preyed upon Spanish galleons, laden with treasures from the New World, and made the Caribbean their playground. Their audacious exploits sent shockwaves across the world, challenging the might of empires and turning the high seas into a battleground. But as we'll see, the glory days of these pirates were numbered. The empires they defied were growing stronger, and new forces were at play that would eventually bring about their downfall. The Golden Age of Piracy, a time when the scoundrels of the sea ruled the waves. But piracy was not confined to the Caribbean. From the Barbary Coast to the South China Sea, pirates were aplenty. As we sail away from the Caribbean, we find that the pirate flag was hoisted in many corners of the world. Piracy, you see, wasn't just a game for the Caribbean buccaneers. It was a global profession, stretching as far and wide as the oceans themselves. In the Mediterranean, the Barbary pirates, or corsairs, had their heyday. These were not your typical cutlass-wielding, rum-swilling rogues, but skilled seafarers who prowled the Mediterranean from the 16th to the 19th centuries. Operating from North Africa's Barbary coast, they were part of a complex socio-political system and their piracy was often state-sanctioned. The Corsairs were known for their audacious raids, capturing ships and enslaving their crews, striking fear into the hearts of European sailors. Meanwhile, on the other side of the globe, the South China Sea was another hotbed of pirate activity. Chinese pirates like the fearsome Qing Shi, 
commanded fleets that dwarfed those of the Caribbean. Ching She, a former prostitute, came to control one of the largest pirate fleets in history, numbering in the thousands. Her iron-willed command and strict code of laws brought order to the chaos of piracy and earned her a place amongst the greatest pirates of all time. Piracy was also rampant in the waters of Southeast Asia, where the infamous Bugi pirates of Indonesia ruled the waves. These sea nomads were revered for their navigation skills and feared for their ferocity in battle. Their relentless raids on shipping lanes made them a formidable force to reckon with. From the azure waters of the Mediterranean to the Emerald Seas of Southeast Asia, piracy was an international affair. Each region had its own unique brand of piracy, shaped by local conditions and cultural norms. The pirates of these regions were as diverse as the seas they sailed, but they all shared a common pursuit, the lure of freedom, wealth and adventure on the high seas. Piracy, a global phenomenon, was as diverse as it was widespread. All good things must come to an end, and so it was with the age of piracy. As we journey further into the annals of maritime history, we find the tide turning against these seafaring rogues. The decline of piracy was no overnight event. Several factors conspired to bring about an end to this lawless era. First and foremost, the rise of powerful navies played a significant role in curbing the pirates' reign over the high seas. Nations like Britain and Spain, tired of the constant threat to their merchant vessels, began investing heavily in their naval forces. With ships that were faster, better armed, and manned by disciplined sailors, these navies started to pose a serious challenge to pirates. Alongside the beefed-up naval forces, the spread of colonial authority also played a part in the downfall of piracy. As territories were claimed and colonized, the once lawless seas were increasingly policed. The once vast and uncharted oceans began to shrink in the face of colonial expansion, leaving pirates with fewer places to hide and operate. Furthermore, the economies of the world were evolving. The era of plundering gold from galleons was giving way to more structured trade systems. The lucrative easy pickings that pirates had once enjoyed were becoming less and less common. Let's not forget the pirates themselves. Many of the most notorious pirates of the Golden Age met grisly ends, either at the hands of their enemies or through treachery within their own ranks. These tales of demise served as a stark warning to those considering a life of piracy. Last but not least, the romantic notion of pirates as free-spirited adventurers began to wane. The reality of piracy, a life of danger, hardship and often a violent death, started to overshadow the allure of freedom and adventure. The sun set on the age of piracy, but their legacy was far from forgotten. Despite their decline, pirates left an indelible mark on our imagination, inspiring countless stories of adventure and rebellion. As we look back on this tumultuous era, we're reminded of a time when the world was still uncharted and the lure of the sea was irresistible. Despite their decline, pirates live on, not just in history books, but in our imaginations. Their legacy, steeped in both infamy and intrigue, has withstood the sands of time, shaping our perception of these maritime marauders. From the earliest depictions of pirates in classical literature to their modern-day portrayals in blockbuster films, pirates have been romanticized as symbols of rebellion and freedom. They're the swashbuckling anti-heroes who defy authority, live by their own rules, and embody a tantalizing sense of adventure that captivates the human spirit. Who can resist the allure of the pirate queen Tuta, a woman who dared to challenge the might of empires, or the legendary Blackbeard, whose fearsome reputation still echoes throughout the annals of maritime history? These figures, born of the high seas and the thirst for adventure, continue to fascinate and inspire us. Yet it's not just their daring exploits that captivate us. Pirates, in their own unconventional way, symbolize a yearning for freedom and autonomy. They lived outside the confines of societal norms, navigating the boundless expanse of the sea, answering to no one but themselves. This image of the pirate as the ultimate rebel, the free spirit who dares to challenge the status quo, resonates deeply within us. In popular culture, pirates have taken on a life of their own. From Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island to the blockbuster Pirates of the Caribbean series, pirates have become a staple of the adventure genre. 
they've been reimagined as roguish heroes, lovable scoundrels, and free-spirited adventurers, their tales captivating audiences across generations. Yet, amidst the romanticized portrayals, we must remember that pirates were not just figments of fiction, but real people who lived, fought, and often died on the high seas. Their lives were not always glamorous, but they were undeniably compelling, a testament to the human spirit's thirst for adventure and freedom. From the Sea Peoples to Blackbeard, the tale of piracy is a tale of adventure, daring, and the eternal allure of the sea. So, there you have it, the birth, rise, and fall of piracy. We've journeyed from the ancient Mediterranean shores, where the Sea Peoples launched the first known pirate raids, through the reign of the infamous pirate queen Tuta, who defied empires. We followed piracy's evolution, from the daring Viking raids of the Middle Ages to the notorious pirates of the Caribbean's Golden Age. We've explored piracy's reach beyond the Caribbean, from the Barbary Coast to the South China Sea, and traced its decline in the face of rising naval powers and expanding colonial rule. Yet, even as piracy waned, it left an enduring legacy, inspiring countless tales of high seas adventure. These legendary pirates, from antiquity to the Golden Age, remain symbols of rebellion and freedom a reminder of the eternal allure of the sea. So the next time you hoist the Jolly Roger, remember the legends of the high seas who paved the way. Until next time, fair winds and following seas.